Welcome back to Awesome Wildlife Effort. We're now here with Katrina Breeze. Katrina has done a lot for New Orleans over the last many years with Mardi Gras. She's going on the environmental route. She's also going on the endangered species route. And we're on a couple of bikes that represent her work. Katrina, welcome to Awesome Wildlife Effort. Thanks so much, glad you're here. My first bike got hired by Treme with HBO and we did a Mardi Gras scene and that showed me the opportunity um, that the film industry was really interested in having parades in different scenes. Um, we did a great parade scene for the NCIS Halloween episode using the bikes. From there I was able to build more and get more paychecks to build more. Um, through that industry. We recently moved into endangered species and are using the parade as a platform to educate and raise consciousness about endangered animals. We'll be down in November creating a dolphin bike in Key West and raising awareness for the dolphins. We're currently talking in North Carolina about creating a panther's bike to raise awareness for panthers. We're working on a tiger bike right now. They really need our, our attention right now if we want to maintain the species. The crew of Colossus is always looking for riders, whether it's Mardi Gras or Halloween or different parades throughout the year. You can reach us at www.colossus.org. You were making some bikes this year for the crew of awe mm -hmm. and that's expanded and now you, you've got a grant from awesome foundation no relationship though right um yeah we got a grant from the awesome foundation um supporting the creation of three more endangered species bikes um the first one that we finished was this um, shark here this hammerhead we're working on a tiger and um, hopefully a rhino is coming soon. Yeah, we're gonna need to make a lot of bikes. There's a lot of animals out there that need our consciousness devoted to them. So Katrina, you're also here in New Orleans and you're, you're interested in the environmental aspects of Mardi Gras. Beads are a toxic, and you've been addressing that. Yes, uh, Mardi Gras beads are a huge environmental disaster here in New Orleans and Louisiana. We're working with different groups, environmental groups, um, pediatrician groups, to get rid of the toxic imports and um, create more alternatives within the industry. So Katrina, thank you for being an awesome wildlife effort. It's been great riding your bikes in the parades and lots of success in the future. Stay tuned, we'll be right back with more of Awesome Wildlife Effort. Subscribe to Awe News. We've interviewed numerous people, artists, legislators, people operating sanctuaries, activists, who are working hard to save vanishing species. Get involved.